Hello, Mr. Tabak. You saw be solving option for for the blog, which uh, I'm just gonna go over the question and I'm gonna explain what I did to solve it. So basically, for the first part, he's asking for part A, which is find the probability probability that the Giants go undefeated. It's asking for part A. Explain where in the problem description you can find the values for trials for trials and x and p. So I'm just gonna um, stop right here and then explain this. So it, I, I'm gonna just read the, the problem and then explain what it, we can take off from this. Once in the bubble, the Giants basketball team plays seven other teams, one each, one night, one time each. In each game, the Giants have a 60% chance of winning. So as we see the, the percentage sign, we already know that this is gonna be the probability. And if we take the probability 60% and turn it into a decimal, that's gonna be 0. 0.6 or 0. 0.60. So we already have the, the value for P, you can see that. Um, X, we can only find when the problem is asked to us. So right now we only have N and P, so I'm just gonna show where N is. Uh, once in the bubble, the Giants basketball team plays seven other teams, one time each. One time each. So they're gonna play seven teams on one time each. So that's gonna be seven trials, seven games, right? And so N, which is the number of trials, is gonna be seven, as we got from here. And then P is gonna be given us in the in the part A of the exercise, which is saying find the probability that the Giants go undefeated. So if they're playing seven games, that means that if they go undefeated, they're gonna win all the games, right? So if they play seven games, they're gonna win seven games. And so basically. That means they're going undefeated, uh, means they're going to win seven games. And so the um, value of X is seven. So N for the trials, N, it's seven games, as they're giving the number of trials. Uh, P, the probability is going to be 60%, uh, turn into decimal is going to be 0. 0.60. And X is given on the problem, which is uh, going undefeated, which means winning all the games, which are seven games. And so how do you know if you should choose binomial PDF or binomial CDF? That's pretty simple. So, for example, binomial CDF is only used when you have a problem where a value it's like non-specified, which is given to us more than one value that we have to find. So, for example, ah, um, what do you find the probability that they win three games or more, three games or less, two games or more, two games or less? Do you see like two games or more? So, like that's going to be two and then more games. So basically, that's a value that is not defined, like a specific value, like one value that's going to be more than one. So this can be probably for more than one value. And binomial PDF is used when we have to find, uh, for example, the probability of only one specific value, like one given value, like a specific number. Like, uh, what's the probability that they win four games? What's the probability that they win six games, one game, uh, zero games? You see, like, it's, it's, a, it's a specific number, like it's a specific probability of one number. So as they asked us, find the probability that the Giants go undefeated. And as I said, going undefeated means they're going to win seven games. There's no undefeated in winning six games. That's not going to be undefeated. Or winning three games. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense. So there's only one uh, number that is specific, specified for this X value, which is going to be seven. And so we know that we're going to use PDF because they're asking us for only the probability that they go undefeated, which means only the probability that they win seven games. And that's it. Not seven or less or I don't know, four more, do you see like it's only one value. So we know we're gonna use binomial PDF, it's gonna be seven games, which is specified value. And finally, explain and demonstrate finding the solution for part eight in the calculator. So we're basically just gonna plug in all the information we got. We go, uh, we click second uh, distribution, and then we're gonna choose option A, which is binomial PDF. I already uh, explained why we're gonna choose PDF. So the number of trials is gonna be seven, as I already said, N. Uh, the p-value is going to be 0 0.60, which is 60% uh, transformated into a uh, in a decimal. And the x-value, which is the going undefeated, which is winning seven games, is going to be seven for the problem. So we just paste this value. And then we're going to get the answer, which is 0 0.0280. So we're going to just round to 0 0.0280. And that is the answer, 0 0.0280. It's the probability that chance go undefeated.